In this lesson, we will play one shot with every possible spin. You will learn how the cue ball reacts and even how you have to adjust your aiming. If you want to try the shots on your own, this is the setup for the balls. And now let's jump into the lesson. We will play every shot with the same amount of speed and from the same cue ball's position. Let's start with a center ball first. This is the ghost ball view and as you can see we have to adjust a tiny bit for a cut induced throw. This is because we're hitting pretty firm and that way cut induced throw isn't that big. As you can see the cue ball follows the tangent line just a tiny bit in the beginning. This is because the cue ball has a tiny bit of forwards rotation on it. If we would hit a bit below center then we have a perfectly sliding cue ball and the cue ball would go straight along the tangent line. Now we have a reference for a center ball hit so let's now play maximum low on the cue ball. This time you also have to adjust for a cut induced throw but only half the amount because if you're playing maximum high or low, the cut and used throw cuts in a half approximately. How much will the cue ball deviate from our reference line? Pause the video, think about it and then continue watching. And now the cue ball travels towards the side pocket. And by the way, if you are changing your speed with the same amount of low, this line of course also changes but this is a future topic. Now what do you think, where can we get the cue ball if we're playing low and right spin? I will tell you in a minute but first of all let's talk about the ghost ball aiming point. Well, we are adding spin this time, this makes things a bit more difficult. Very important, there is spin induced throw and deflection that we have to adjust for. But keep in mind we are hitting pretty firm, this means spin induced throw has less impact but deflection has more impact. So right spin will push the cue ball to the left, this means without adjusting we would hit too thick. This means again we have to adjust and aim a bit thinner. And of course with low right you get the cue ball even closer to the long rail. So we have a range from low right to center ball that is this area. So if you're hitting anywhere in between you can send the cue ball somewhere along a line in this area. But what happens now if we're playing the cue ball with just right spin? Pause the video, think about it yourself. And of course this time we're adding even more spin on the cue ball so deflection will be larger. This means we have to adjust more and aim even thinner this time. Do you see the strange curve that the cue ball is making? This is caused by the right spin that wants to bring the cue ball to the left but the tiny bit of forwards rotation wants to bring the cue ball to the right. Now let's get real crazy. What happens if we're adding maximum low on the cue ball that wants to bring the cue ball more to the left again, but we're also adding left spin that brings the cue ball to the right. Think about it yourself. And of course, regarding our ghost ball, it's almost the same as with low right, just the opposite direction. We have to aim a bit thicker this time because the left spin pushes the cue ball to the right, but don't forget about the cut induced throw so it's not that much as with low right that we have to adjust. Interestingly the left spin is much stronger than the draw and we're leaving our initial area where we could bring the cue ball and hitting 2.5 diamonds away from the corner pocket. Now let's change everything. What happens if we're playing with just follow? And the ghost ball adjustment is by the way the same as we did with low, we just have to adjust a tiny bit for a cut induced throw. Very interesting in my opinion, the cue ball now again hits the same spot as with low left. So you can get the same results with high and with low left. But watch the difference in those two shots. In the first example with low left the cue ball goes straight towards the rail because the left spin is that main force and in the just high ball the cue ball makes that forward bend because of that high. So if you for example have to go around an obstacle then you can use high. A lot of information I know but it's getting very interesting again. Remember that low left where the left spin was the stronger force, now we're playing with high and right. Does this mean that the cue ball will somewhere travel along this line because the spin is the stronger force than the high? Think about it. 
And by the way, Ghost Ball adjustment is about the same as with low and right spin. Yes indeed, in the beginning the cue ball wants to go because of that right spin to the other direction, but the follow is this time the stronger force. Well, does that mean that with the low left I just added more spin and that's why the left spin was the stronger force? No, it's because the cue ball always has a tendency to go forward, it's more natural and the cue ball never has a natural tendency to go backwards. This is why in the end the follow is the stronger force here. Okay, one more thing to talk about, but again very interesting. Remember the just high ball where we hit 2.5 diamonds away from the corner pocket? I think it's pretty obvious that with high left we get a bit closer because then we have two forces that want to bring the cue ball to the right. But the big question is, do we get closer to the long rail with high left or with just left spin? Think about it. With high and left we were hitting the rail at this point and with just left we're hitting the long rail even a bit closer to the corner pocket and this is because the left spin grabs immediately at the short rail and that way we bring the cue ball closer to the corner pocket. The only exception here is if you're playing on a new table with new glove where the side spin doesn't grab as good on the rails that's where you have to rely more on high or low on the cue ball. And another very interesting comparison between those two shots is with the pure left spin we hit the first long rail a bit earlier. This means the cue ball should hit the second long rail a bit closer to the side pocket. But that's not the case and this is because the left spin is still present on that second rail. It opens the angle and that's why we're scratching. With the high left there isn't that much left spin on it but more of the forward rotation and that's why with this shot we hit the long rail instead of scratching. Alright, let's summarize it real quick. From low right to just left spin you have this huge area where you can get the cue ball everywhere you want. Just recreate the shot and experiment with the different spin. Of course, different speed will bring you different result, that's very important. And one thing, there are some combinations of spin that cancel each other out. For example, remember that low left shot compared to the just high shot where we hit the same spot on the rail. But keep in mind, the outcome on the second or third rail is different this way. Some things I want to give you on the way regarding the aiming process. I know it's very theoretical in this video, but uh, in real life it's not that difficult. When I'm for example playing this shot, I'm not thinking about how hard I'm hitting, how much spin induced throw, cut induced throw deflection I'm having. No, this is just from experience, I don't calculate any of this. However, it helps if you know the theory. So if you're interested in aiming in general, check out my video how to aim with side spin, there I explained everything that you need to know, but it's not that difficult, trust me. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, then please as always consider to leave a like, comment, subscribe and share it with your friends. It really uh, cost me a long night just working on this video, so I would really appreciate it if you uh, show your support by hitting that like button. A huge thank you goes out to my sponsors, to everyone who's supporting me, Thanks for watching guys and as always, see you at the next lesson which will be a what's in the case video. Take care.